Okay, in this presentation we're going to look at net income and we're going to go through a listing of the accounts that in, for revenues, expenses, and the cost of goods sold uh, just to define what net income is. But before that let's look at this template. Okay, we got net income off to the right here which is part of the income statement and under that I've got revenues, expenses, cost of goods sold. Well, net income is not part of the balance sheet, but at the end of the period it flows into the balance sheet here. It's an addition to it. So let's look at the uh, balance sheet here. We got assets here equals liabilities here plus the stockholders equity accounts here. So let's focus in on the net income here and look at what the um, little T accounts here, what the debits and credits increase and decrease. Okay, so for revenues, we got a, a debit decrease here and a credit increases revenues. If we go down and look at expenses, it's the opposite. Debit increases expenses, credit decreases expenses. And same for cost of goods sold since that's essentially an expense here. Debit increases cost of goods sold, credit decreases it. And then if we go look at the other accounts here, we go over to assets, we get a debit increase, credit decrease. And liabilities, I lose cited equation, debit decrease, credit increase. Same, and that would be the same for your contributed capital and earned capital where the debit decreases it, the credit increases it. Okay, so uh, this template here can be very handy when you're doing your textbook problems, your homework problems in accounting. So make up a template like this and set it off to the side when you're doing your problems and use it as a reference. Okay, This is the same template as the one shown before, but it's expanded here. I've got assets I've got listed as investing activities, and then the liabilities and stockholders' equity are financing activities of the company, and then net income, which we're looking at here, is an operating activity. Okay, next we'll, go th we'll scan through the uh, accounts here for revenues, expenses, and cost of goods sold to get an idea what uh, this net income accounts include. So let's start with the revenues. So we got first off, we've broken it down by the operating revenues, sales, and all the sales accounts, and then we got this sales discount. You notice a little C here. That means it's a contra account and it works opposite of what these are. So it reduces the normal account. We got two of those here. And then we got non operating revenue gains, and we got those listed here interest, income, commissions, and so forth. Okay. Okay, next let's look at the expenses. Got it broken down here by operating expenses So first, so we'll scan on through here. If there's any unusual ones, we'll look at them, but pretty straightforward. Okay, let's go up here to the non-operating expenses losses. Okay, we got donations, penalties, fines, and so forth, interest expense, taxes. All right, let's move over here to cost of goods sold. Got that broke, broken down here by cost of goods purchased or sold. That's for our retail operations. Again, we got a little C at the end here. Those are the contra accounts. And then we got cost of goods manufactured, broke those down, those items here. All right, we'll scan through those. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Now, this list here of accounts, if you would go make a copy of them and use them as a reference when you're doing your accounting problems, it can really help when you're using. Uh, template like shown above there. You know which account goes where in each uh, T account. It can be very helpful.